holidays are almost here, and that means it's time to start thinking about what you're going to mm -hmm, cook. Mm -hmm. you got to feed the crew, right? Oh, I know. My goodness. <laughs> my mom's going to have a fit trying to feed us all. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro caught up with professional organizer Andy Willis to find out how you can prepare for your holiday feast. Andy, when we think of the holidays, probably one of the first things that comes to a lot of people's mind is food. Absolutely. So what can we do at home to kind of organize and, and get the holiday festivities and the food that's going to be happening in the next few weeks? How, how can we get that all together? Okay, so one of the first things you want to think about is what are you going to serve? So, you know, starting to go through your cookbooks and marking recipes if you like to try new things, pulling out old favorites out of your recipe box. Start thinking about what you're going to cook because then that will help things go down the line. Mm -hmm. And then start stocking up on the things you know you're going to need. If you love to bake, you know you're going to need flour and you're going to need sugar and you're going to need certain spices that you might have run out of. So go ahead and take stock and, and you know get those sorts of things. Okay. Also special um, family traditions. Like this is a dried sweet corn. I don't know why it's a family tradition, but my family loves it and <laughs> I haven't had it in years and years and years because you can't buy it around here. I found it on spring break and brought it home with me. So you know catching up with those sorts of things things. Um, also paper goods, um, plastic bags, little containers, so you can send those goodies home with your friends right. and family. You don't end up with all the leftovers. Leftovers are so good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, this is a really great time. You can make a lot of things in advance. Go ahead and cook a, a casserole or a side dish and stick it in the freezer. Um, make cookie dough. Cookie dough freezes really well, mm -hmm. and then you just unthaw it and make your cookies, and you don't have to go through all that mess. Right. One of my favorite memories of Christmas is decorating cookies. Absolutely. And maybe even go ahead and make a, a big batch of soup and stick it in the freezer for those really crazy, hectic nights. You know. Mm -hmm. um, also, take a minute, clean out your fridge and your freezer. Go ahead, you know you're going to have those leftovers and all that extra stuff, so go ahead and get out the, you know, the funky green thing that's in the back corner and, mm -hmm. and clean it out. And then finally, you know, we've talked about being in the kitchen before, putting things up high that we only use once a year, like right. the platters and things. Right. It's time to get those out. So make a little staging area, maybe in your dining room, of your Christmas plates and platters. And then as you start going through Thanksgiving and Christmas, you can start using them. This will make a a wonderful festivity during a, for a wonderful holiday. Absolutely. And for more tips or to connect with Andy, you can check out goodlifeorganizing.net.